Anton Avalier. I'm 20 years old and I'm here to tell you my life experience that I've overcame. Um, I started experiencing drastic life changes my senior year in high school, starting with a young man I was dating for like four years. Um, he has always been abusive to me verbally and physically. And as I was trying to break it off, he decided he didn't want to break it off. And so in the midst of me getting ready for graduation, being a valedictorian, still trying to focus on school, kidnapped me, raped and beat me out of anger in his own heart because I didn't want to be with him. Me not knowing my worth, I blame myself. And I fell into this deep depression into where I started not wanting to be around people. I had to go to therapy and a lot of different things that I wasn't used to because I didn't know my self-worth. And along with that, a lot of other symptoms started to come on as I transitioned to high school and I able to get over whatever happened to me. I started being told I was bipolar, depression, and PTSD and even though I still have these symptoms now I feel like overcoming it with writing and talking and singing was even better for me because now I know myself worth I have better value than any man can ever show me because I have talent I'm beautiful I mean that experience really helped me become who I am you can't even tell I have all these disorders and mental disabilities because I learned my worth outside of what others were telling me. So that's my life story, I hope we can. And I just wanted to share with you today a little bit of my story um, in helping to empower women. About 30 some years ago, I was divorced. Um, I was married to actually a very wonderful man, but he developed a cocaine addiction that he could not beat. Um, I was left with two sons, age one and two. Um, the three things, I, three things I think that helped me cope and get by and actually achieve uh, the success that I was able to achieve in life were these. A lot of hard work and dedication, number one. Number two, always maintaining a positive mental attitude. I learned how to control and every, every negative thought that ever crept into my mind. Um, I was able to squelch it and say, I have control over my, over my thoughts and I will not let negativity bring me down. Uh, and number three, daily prayer. And I did not leave number three for last. Number three is probably the most important. Um, God is your best friend and prayer is your best weapon. Um, I think prayer is the key to God's heart. He's never let me down. In all my trials and tribulations, I've had him to rely on. Good evening, beautiful people of God. Um, my name is Natasha, and I can think of uh, many of times that God has come through for me. He always does. He's very faithful. And there's this one particular time I would like to testify where I was five and a half months pregnant, and I went to the doctor, and I wanted nothing but to be able to bear children because the Bible says be fruitful and multiply. And I was so ecstatic when it happened, but turned around when I was about five and a half months pregnant, I went to the doctor, there was no heartbeat. And I was angry, I was upset, I was depressed, I was fighting mind demons and so forth. But I turned my heart and my mindset back on God. I prayed, I fast, and God gave me my miracle in 2013, which is my daughter, when even doctors didn't think it was possible. But that is one particular time that for the entire earthly life, I will always remember that. Um, I have a sort of a unique situation, a uh, story to tell, which I want to call my testimony. I overcame the epidemic of our black fathers trying to take the children away from 
mothers. And one of my children were taken from me for about six months. By default, was not proven that I was a negligent mother. Um, everything was totally a lie and I suffered and my child suffered being away from his mother for six months. Worst experience of my life. But standing firmly in what I believe in, standing firmly in my faith in God and His Word and His promise, I was able to overcome by the grace of God. And um, as a matter of fact, I'm actually uh, helping another young lady through the same type of situation. She's very educated, good mother, good head on her shoulders, could not in any way, shape, or form be faulted as a negligent mother. And her son is right now in the care of the father um, and is being abused. Very similar to my story. So I would like to share my testimony and my story with thousands of women as I promised God that I would do if he brought me through. Um, I was molested from age 7 to 11 and um, I was raped by my brother at age 18 which was the same one that molested me and I wind up getting pregnant from that um, rape. had no one to turn to. I had no resources because I grew up in a household where what goes on in the house stays in the house. So I couldn't really talk to anyone and tell anyone what was going on. So I began to keep those feelings inside and begin to act out without being able to express and explain myself. But in the midst of all of that that I was going through and everything that I went through, I went through alone. I didn't have anyone that I could talk to. I didn't have anyone that I could cry, cry to and explain to and pour myself out to. I went through it alone. But just now, the, five, the past five years, I'm really just now dealing with it. Um, it's been well over 30 years for me. I'm not going to say how old I am, but it's been a long time and I'm just not really getting into myself and knowing that all that I went through, it was nothing but the blood that was covering my mind. It was nothing but the blood that was covering even my surroundings that God wouldn't really let me lose my mind and all that I went through. Just keep coming back to the story about my grandmother so um her name is charlotte and um she met my grandfather in um chemistry class um when they were in high school i think i believe it was sophomore year she was a little bit older than him so um when they got to his senior year he was the captain of the football team and he thought he was like hot um and so he broke up with my grandmother because he wanted to see, you know, what else was out there. And instead of like lying around and crying about it, um, which she could have done too, but, and that's okay, because it's okay to cry <laughs> when you're sad. Um, but my grandmother knew her worth, which I think is something that is lost a lot um, on women these days. Um, and instead of sitting around at home, she decided to date my grandfather's best friend. Uh, my grandfather came back very shortly after that. So, um, it just has been a story that speaks to me because, um, like I said, she knew her worth and knew that um, a man wasn't like going to make or break her and that um, she could find someone else who would know that she was a good catch. And so when I feel down and out, I think about that a lot um, to like know my own worth. And um, yeah, okay. Well, hopefully this helps.